what's the common ground between all of these different people? Great food. It's uh, land, mm -hmm. our land, our agriculture, and the cuisines that we do of it. And this is what is bringing all of us together. Kamal Muzawak is a culinary chef and food activist in Lebanon. When he started traveling throughout Lebanon as a food writer and teacher, he gained an appreciation for the rural culinary traditions and the skills that he discovered over there. I adore progress, you know. Uh, why do you have always to see tradition as antagonistic to progress? These are two like completely different things. Like that has to be complementary and not antagonistic. Why do you have to put them always in conflict, one facing the other? In 2004, he founded the first organic farmers market, a big success. People of all ages and persuasions attend that market. Hello Anna, how are you? Souk Tayyib. It's a farmer's market, a weekly farmer's market every Saturday morning. Our slogan is make food not war, so it's more about the dream. It's quite unique because it's the best products from all over the country and that brings different people together around one common goal and project. In 2009, he founded the first cooperative restaurant where cooks from all regions in Lebanon present their authentic regional dishes. It's a strangely equalizing project, I find, using food as a way of bringing people from different backgrounds together, all uh, engaging with the same products. We call Paul is a farmer's kitchen because it's really a kitchen, it's not a restaurant, you know. It was not just about the food, it was about, you know, the history, the story, the involvement, the passion, the love, the struggle, all of these different stories together put in a bowl of tabbouleh. Kamal's restaurants run cookery classes and health environmental campaigns. The Prince Klaus Fund wants to award Kamal Muzawak because he unites disparate communities through the human need and enjoyment of food.